what we're going to do is create a new legend. Now we have to choose a scale for the legend. We're going to call this joinery 01. So we're actually going to be creating a joinery view. We can change the scale later, but we'll keep it as 1 to 50. And as you can see, here's our legend view. There's really nothing to it at the moment. You can zoom to fit, there's nothing there. But what we want to do is start to add in a piece of joinery and we're going to create a couple of elevations from it and give it some data. Let's have a look at what piece of joinery we can add to this legend. In the ground floor plan, we modeled up this parametric family, this table. So why don't we go ahead and add that to this legend? So how do we do that? What we're going to do is see what this is called. It's called parametric family. We can go to that legend view. Now this is where we go up to annotate and we can go down to where it says component. We want to click the drop down uh, point here and click on legend component. We now can choose a family. So this is only going to work for a model that is a family inside of the project. It's not going to work for a model in place or a mass in place or anything like that. But for a piece of furniture or something that we've modeled up as a family, this will work perfect. So what we can do is scroll down and find where we've got our furniture. And I think we named this uh, parametric table, parametric family, parametric table. Now you can see we've got a floor plan view of it. Let's just go ahead and place that. Very cool. Now let's change this to an elevation front. Let's go ahead and place that. And maybe an elevation of the left as well. There we go, we've got our parametric family. Now let's just move this and line it up with that elevation. And already you can see that we've got this legend view with this parametric family in it. Let's go ahead and create a new sheet. Right click new sheet, use that same template. And we're gonna call this joinery 01. So now all we need to do is find our legends in the project browser and then drag that into the view. Now you can see this is extremely small. We're gonna need a much larger scale. So what we can do is change the view scale to let's say to 10. Even that's a bit too small. We can go to one to five and there is our family. And now you can see we've got a view, an isolated view of just this table, which is awesome because what we can do is double click this and open the legend view type di to dimension, we can actually dimension inside of this view. So we can show that that is 800 millimeters long and it is 450 millimeters tall. We can show that this side is 1300 millimeters wide and so forth. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.